Hello, my friends. May the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, the Divine Holy Spirit, may He be with you right now. May He come to involve you with His presence. May He fulfill your greatest desire to materialize your greatest dream, which is to have Him inside of you, guide in your mind, your spirit, so that your spirit may have wisdom to guide your soul. And your soul will then lead your body. God, God is a trinity, His Father, His Son, and Holy Spirit. First comes God, and then comes the Son of God. First the Father came, and then the Son. And today, in these last days, the Holy Spirit came to guide His people, to guide those who are sincere, to guide those who fear God, to reveal Himself, to reveal His Son to those who love Him, to those who desire to have Him, who believe in Him, not believing in, in an emotional way, but in an intelligent way. For example, Jesus said like this, The Father has not left me alone. The Father has not left me alone. For I always do those things that please Him. We don't always do what pleases our eternal Father. But our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, He does always the will of the Father. And so those who trust in Him, those who believe in Jesus, they are covered, they are comforted, they are kept by the Son, and the Son washes us from our sins, He cleanses us, He purifies us from our sins. And then He, the Son, introduces us to the Father, saying, My Father, here are the ones that You gave Me, and I bring them to You. And that's why that Jesus said, Everything that you ask the Father in my name, it will be done to you. So, you who are right now preparing yourself to enter the presence of God, to pray and seek the Holy Spirit as you usually do at 3 a.m., the best time of, of your sleep, of, of the night, you sacrifice to receive the Holy Spirit. Very well. The one that gives, the one that has authority to seal us with the Holy Spirit is God the Son. God's Son, God's Son, Jesus, is the one who seals, who baptizes us with the God Holy Spirit. So, even if you don't deserve it, even if we do not deserve it, even still, because of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, 
we become then to have the privilege or the right to receive him. Whoever believes in the Son of God has eternal life, and to believe is to surrender one's life and to live according to his will, is to be God-fearing, to obey his word, to walk in sincerity, in transparency. Ah, my dear friend, there where you are, in this very moment, in this faith, in the Lord Jesus, then receive the Holy Spirit through this prayer. Close your eyes there now. Don't look at me now, but look within yourself. See this emptiness that is there within you, this hole that you have within you. It will be filled up by the Spirit of the Father, the Holy Spirit, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because the Son always does the things that please the Father. And it's His desire to fill you up with the Holy Spirit so that you can also become an overcomer. Okay? Let us talk to God then right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus, my Father, we thank you for the privilege you've given us the privilege of believing in someone we don't see, touch, or feel. I'm not feeling absolutely anything. I'm not touching you. I'm not seeing you. But I believe in what you said. You said, you said that the Father hasn't left you alone, in other words, that whoever is in you, whoever believes in you, also has the presence of your Father. So, may this presence, my Father, be materialized in the life of this person who is, in this moment, inclined bowing down before your throne, seeking for your Holy Spirit. O oh, Holy Spirit, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you because, because it, it's not common for us to be here together at this time in the same spirit. But you led us here, and here we are, so that this person who is watching us anywhere in the world, in this very moment, may receive the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of the Resurrection, the spirit of eternal life, the spirit that comforts, the spirit of peace, the spirit of joy, full joy of the Lord Jesus. Receive, my dear friend, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the merits of the Lord Jesus Christ, receive the Holy Spirit there and now and be the happiest person on the face of the earth. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And thank God. Speak to God. Pray to Him. Praise Him. As the Holy Spirit gives you words, He inspires you now to speak. So speak with your mouth. Don't ask for anything. It's not time to ask now. You already did. So now just thank Him. Recognize, thank, exalt, worship, praise the Lord of your life from this moment on. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may the Spirit of the Father confirm within you 
that you are no longer alone. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. May God bless you all and we'll be back tomorrow. Until then.